What's up, Knicks fans? What's up, Knicks fans? It's your boy, Mizzle. And I'm Royale. That's right, Roy is back today. Shout out to the NY Knicks work. Guys, you already know, too much to mention, but shout out to Mike Ortiz. He is in the building right now. We are coming off a win, Roy. I'm feeling good. We beat Trey Young and them. I like that. Anytime that little old, young looking, he's old. He's young, but he look old. Mm -hmm. Anytime that we can give him a loss, especially at home, I feel good. Oh, what about you? Listen, man, I went into coming into that game like pretty much the whole day. I was thinking, man, tomorrow I'm going to have to come in to do this podcast <laughs> thinking, man, we trash again. I but know. I, I, I can't, but that was, man, that's, I, that's, that's a sweet feeling. Anytime you can stick it to a rival. Yes, yes, yes. You know, coming off that loss uh, uh, against Phoenix, who is on a roll, okay? They are on a roll like butter. You heard? You know what I mean? So shout out to them, but... No shout out to them for being us, but shout out to us because we won last night. So forget them. Yeah. It's all about us. You thought you know? it was sweet? You still not good in Dykeman? <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? But guys, before we get into all the great stuff, you guys know that this is Nick's Weekly. That's why you see the, the mics here because we're going to throw it up on the podcast. You can get it uh, wherever you consume your podcasts uh, or podcasts. You know, podcasts. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, I apologize. I apologize for that. Um, And uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Throw on that like. Throw on your notifications. All right? So you can get good Knicks content like this. This is Knicks Weekly. We are going to go back a little bit, Roy. A little bit. Okay? We're going to go back a little bit. But before we do, let's do the trivia question. Okay. Let's do the trivia question. You guys know it's going to be a battle of the boroughs on Tuesday. We're going to get into that um at the end. Thursday, I believe. Thursday is Tuesday. It's, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. No, it can't be Thursday. It's the it's the next game. It's it's Saturday. Today today's Sunday. Today's Sunday. So, you know, they got a day off tomorrow. On Tuesday, they're gonna be seeing those Nets. Those uh-huh. Nets. You My know? mistake. I know you hate them. You know what I mean? <laughs> you trying mm. to put them? Yeah. You know? so I know you hate the Nets, and I know a lot of y'all out there hate the Nets too. Y'all know how I am, so I'm not gonna say nothing. You know what I'm saying? But um, I got a little trivia question for them out there, for those people out there. Roy, you got the answer. Don't tell them nothing. Keep mums the word on this one, all right? Yep. Who is, guys, this is it, the trivia question. Who is the only player uh, in NBA history, you know, the Nets and the Knicks always have players that played for both franchises, to make an all-star team with both the Knicks and the Nets? All right? Okay, guys. This was an all-star for the Knicks. He was an all-star for the Nets as well. And this is the only player in history to do this. Out of all the people that's been playing for the Nets and been playing for the Knicks, this was the only player that ever did this. I looked it up. Trust me. All right? Let's keep moving on. Uh, We'll give you the answer in the end. That's why you got to keep watching and keep listening so you can get that answer for yourself. Okay, let's get to the recap. We're going on. All the way back, Roy, last week. Well, you know, the beginning of the week when we played Chicago on Sunday. All right? It was a close game for three quarters. Uh, we gave up 37 in the fourth. The Rosen and Levine closed us out. We got nothing from our off-season acquisitions in that game. I believe they both scored five points. And, and Fournier, in over 20 minutes, he, he, he scored five points that day. Julius yeah. was our leading scorer. This is rare, guys, because Julius, I don't know what's been going on with him. So, 34 points that game. Any thoughts on that game? Um, Not really, man. It, it, I mean, at that point, it was really feeling like every game was the same one. It goes by the same pattern. Mm-hmm. Good first quarter start. Mm-hmm. Second quarter is decent, but kind of towards the end, you can kind of see the... the Things starting to slip, and then the third quarter of doom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, third quarter of doom. That is true. That is true. Every third quarter we look, it's kind of rough for us. Yep. But you know, uh, this one was the fourth quarter. Uh, the fourth, we yep. gave up about thirty-seven points. You cannot do that if you're trying to win a game. And we lost by six or something like that. I forget the last, the the the, the final score, but we didn't lose by that much. All right, let's yep. go to the next game we played on Tuesday when we wore those city editions. How do you feel about those city editions? I actually like them. I like when them. I seen the pic, when I seen the pictures of them, I was kind of just whatever. But uh-huh. I would say on like 
on body. Like when you see them in action right. on the television screen, right. they actually look pretty good. Yeah, man. When you I zoom know. in on it, it kind of it, it, it gives me that that yeah, I, I I can see kind of where they were going just with those uh, those jerseys we had a little bit before Mellow. Okay, um, the 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 um Allen the, the, Houston, the, the, the Stephon Marbury though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I know what you're talking about yeah. with the thing in the black, the yeah. black in the side. Kind of reminds yeah, reminds me of that a little about. bit. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're yeah, decent. for sure, for sure. I like them. Yeah, they, yeah, I like them too. I like them too. We played those Lakers. They came in without LeBron. You know, LeBron had gotten t- himself into some trouble, Roy. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They came in without LeBron. We start out the game. Um, we edit, we start out start off the game really well. We mm-hmm. we we go up by 25. Uh, intense play by Fournier. Fournier wakes up. You know, I've been giving him a lot of a lot of grief on this show. Called yeah. him Evan Fournier, but that game he was Evan Fournier. Okay, he 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 definitely did his thing. Um, he was up twenty five. They came back. Uh, they tied it up. They never went up. They never went up. They tied it up. Julius gets five fouls in the fourth. He has to sit down. And guess who comes? Quickly, Burks quickly wins the game with four threes in the fourth. On with two of them threes being on the humble. Yeah. Okay, okay. Westbrook really tries to fight us off, but he cannot. Fournier ends up being the leading scorer in that game with 26. You know, you, you yeah. Any thoughts on that game? I mean, listen, man, it, it goes. It, I think you'll see the reoccurring theme. When Fournier plays good, the Knicks are great. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, we're, mm-hmm. I believe we're 7 and 0 anytime uh, Fournier scores more than 15 points. So, 7 and 0. Oh, no, it can't be. Because. Uh, so it was seven and zero. Seven and zero. Oh, because Fournier had. Oh no, we won. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. You're right. Oh, yeah. so, where well, he scores read. more than fifteen. Yeah. Okay, Fournier. Good I, stat right there. Good stat. Ah, right, listen, guys. We need Fournier rolling. We need him to stay consistent, like Roy Stan. Yeah. That's that's the piece we needed. We needed a, a wing that can give us consistent buckets and put pressure on people. Yep. So when he's doing that job, this team is very good, man. Yeah, absolutely. But he need he need to play defense. He need to play defense. Absolutely. His feet are 48. His feet are 48. He cannot move. His feet cannot move. I'm about to be 40 soon. You know what I'm saying? So my feet are horrible. You know what I mean? But his feet, uh, for a professional basketball player, come on, man. Like, he needs to, I don't know. He needs to do something. He needs to find somebody. Anyway, let's keep moving. No, we won that game. Let's, let's move on to the next game, right? The next game we played was... Uh, Phoenix, we had no D-Rose, no ties. And by the way, guys, the game we won against the Lakers, let's not forget, we did not have D-Rose, we did not have Mitch, and we did not have Taj, all right? So this game against Phoenix, we have no D-Rose, no Taj. Phoenix had control of the game from beginning to end. Booker was too much for the Knicks. Knicks uh, never could really look to uh, move that ball. They had six assists yeah. at the half. I don't know what they ended up with for the game. It was just horrendous. They never moved the ball. They they look horrible. Kemba woke up, finally uh, uh, looked good in stretches, um, and actually looked more than good. He looked brilliant in that game in stretches. Yeah. Uh, he saw no time in the fourth though, because he can't guard nobody. He can't guard nobody. And in the fourth, you need to guard people. So that's why he didn't see no time in the fourth. He can't guard nobody. So anybody that's wondering, oh, well, he had to go in that game. Why didn't he can't guard nobody? He cannot guard anyone. All right, um, Grimes played McBride. They, yeah. they put in McBride a little bit. The boy Deuce, you know what I'm saying? Tibbs kids, gotta Tibbs love it when kids. they gotta love it when they get some time, man. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So uh, that was that was pretty good. I was happy to see that 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 Grimes Grimes uh, he continued to play because we, you know we we stayed hopper, but we're gonna get into that. Um, Suns beat us effortlessly, man. Any yeah. any any thoughts on that Suns game? Um, bad game for Knicks. Good game for me because I put money down on uh, Devin Booker definitely <laughs> uh, giving us the business. So Ooh. yeah, he, he he won me a couple dollars. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I know I know Rem would be happy to hear that. Rem is all over it, getting getting that money, betting. You know what I'm saying? He's all over it. So uh, shout out to him for that. Uh, yeah, bad game. So that was the game before the game we're gonna talk about now. Which was last night's game. We had a back-to-back. Phoenix beat us at home. We had to go to the ATL right after the game. And the guys were focused enough to win that game. That defense was stifling. That defense was stifling. Oh, that that fourth game quarter. looked great. That ga- oh, that game looked great. The- yeah, Mind man. you, this game, no Noel, no Rose, no Kemba, no Tosh. 
Not a man, not our summer league roster giving them the business. The business, right? That was the summer league roster. You're plus, right. plus RJ. Plus RJ. Yeah, summer Jeff. league roster plus RJ. Plus RJ. Exactly. They they had a lot of fourth minute fourth quarter minutes. Yeah. Shout out to Jericho. He had some nice minutes last night. He oh had yeah. Some nice man. minutes last night. You've seen got the two blocks. Two blocks. You've yeah. seen the difference there with just having those big bodies that can that can compete with Clint Capella, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Julius shot rough. Uh, he had a rough shooting night. Again, man, yeah. his offense has been struggling. But, you know, even when he, his offense is struggling, he took the, uh, uh, he was guarding Trey Young a lot. Oh, yeah, you know he, did I mean? a, he did a very good yeah. job on those switches, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, probably about, like, one or two times, uh, you know, during the game. I'd say maybe two or three times. But, you know, you've seen him kind of put his head down and, and, and you know, try to, do a little too much on the offense, but I say for the most part, he did a good job in getting his teammates involved, playing defense, just trying to help however he can. And 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 back to RJ, man, they yeah. they have a thing going with RJ playing with that bench. You need this yeah. guy on the floor, yeah. running, playing a fast paced game. He yeah. looks good when you do that. Yeah, he does. He definitely does. RJ had a had a decent game yesterday. Fifteen points, seven rebounds, uh, one assist, I believe. He had a, he had a decent one yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Fournier started started off hot, but he cooled off. Uh, he still ended up with twenty points, second leading scorer. Yeah. Uh, he went seven for thirteen yesterday, four for six from downtown, which is great. We love that. Uh, like I said about Julius, nothing crazy. All the biggest thing he had yesterday was eleven rebounds. He had eight points. Uh, we love the plus two. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, any anybody else that 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 jumped out to us? Oh, how could I forget <laughs> the player again? The hoop of the night. Alec Burks, man, for, for, that's number. That's man. the second game he won for us, man. Oh, second yeah. game he won for us. The the Houston game right before the game we, we covered today, um, he won that for us. And last night, Alec Burks again. Anything you got to say? What can about you Alec say, Burks? man? That dude is just a hooper. He's yeah. one of the man. I I want to say he's one of the best um, bench players in the league, man. The I league. can't I can't continue to sing his praises. He's he's. He's, he's just a hooper, man. He's a hooper. He's a very good pickup. Absolutely. Such a Huge. very what? good ass. Re, re-signing, right? Re-signing, yeah, 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 yeah. No, even though I've been saying, he was but, a good pickup last yeah. year, but re-signing him? Re-signing. Because, yeah. boy, let's talk about this real yeah. quick, right? Because I was going to do this in the closing thoughts, but since we're here, right? It would have been him or Bullock. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Him or Bullock. We gave him Bullock's money. And at first, he wasn't playing the big minutes, but now he's doing everything yeah, for he's us. he's found his groove. Yeah, he's found his groove. Tibbs is using him as a point guard. A lot of the times when our both our point guards, we love D Rose. We give D Rose all his flowers, no yeah. pun, um, on this show. But uh, he can't guard nobody, just like uh, Kemba Walker. Mm. And that's when you use Alec Burks, and he was brilliant last night, man. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Let's talk about some of his numbers, man. Some of his numbers. Twenty-three points uh, last night for Alec Burks. He was a plus two, two steals, three assists, seven rebounds, four for seven from downtown, four for seven. Big, big, huge threes that we need to clutch. This yeah. guy is, continues to be clutch. Continues to be clutch. Yeah. You know and I mean? even though overall, just to end it off, Atlanta, mm-hmm. they were on a seven-game streak. They were averaging 120 points in that in, in that uh, in span. that streak. Yeah, uh-huh. in that span. Uh-huh. Uh, limited them to 90. We, yes. A good old, a good yes. old, a good old 1990 uh, old, uh, final score. Absolutely. So. I love that. Thanks for telling the people yeah. that for sure. And we, we can't forget about quickly. You have a good shooting one. One for seven, four for 12, 31 yeah. minutes. But we're going to need, we were going to need them yesterday. And guess what? Guess what pops out at me? The seven assists. Yeah. That pops out at me. Uh, the defense that he played in the fourth to, to, to make sure that Trey Young didn't get no points. Yeah. Trey Young did not score in the fourth, guys. That's quickly. That was Julius. Shout out to them on the defensive end. They didn't shoot well, but on the defensive end, they were great. Julius getting those boards was great. 11 big boards for Julius. And one more shout out to um, um, Jericho Sims. This is for you, Fish. You know what I'm saying? That's our homeboy. Rich, shout out to Rashawn. You know what I'm saying? This is for you. He was the highest plus minus yesterday. Mm -hmm. Plus 14. All right, yep. let's get to some closing thoughts because we we've exhausted this uh, uh, Knicks weekly, man. We gave you everything, right? Well, let's 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 get into these closing thoughts. We talked about Burks at at nauseum. We're gonna keep moving on. Evan Fournier needs to be a little bit more consistent, like you said. Every time he scores, I love that stat you gave yeah. us. Every time he scores fifteen or more, we're seven and zero, six and zero. 
Seven and oh. We're seven and oh, man. So, uh, guys, we need more, more, more stuff from Fournier. And uh, the last thing I'm going to say is, all right, my pipe dream of type top three is over. All right? Uh, it's over. All right? I, I, I'm happy with top six. I believe we'll make top six. I believe we're a top six team. I believe we're a little bit better than average team. All the crazy talk that I was I was pulling, I'm taking it back. I'm retracting it. Roy, any any thoughts on that? Because you were you, you you kept it consistent. You said, I don't know what you talk about, Sife. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You kept it consistent. Yeah, I felt like I just needed to see it. <laughs> the, the, the East got a lot better, even though there are teams that are doing worse. You know, that are, yeah. well, I would say that aren't doing as good as possible, but... Things are kind of just going the way I I felt they would. I, I think they could go a little bit better. Only 9 and 11, but I don't know. We'll see, man. Oh, 11 we'll and see. 9. 11 and 9. 11 and 9. Yeah, we're over. Five, Correction, my bad. You know what but, I mean? Uh, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll, we, we just we'll, got to we'll take see. this thing game by game. Roy, I got a Twitter from Into the Knicks Verse. Have you ever seen the show on, on YouTube, Into the Knicks Verse? I don't believe Shout out to Into the Knicks Verse. Great, great. He, he has great show on YouTube. Uh, um, he does a lot of different stuff too. He always has great stats. He hit, he hit me with a great stat on Twitter that I have to share because it was so great because everybody's going crazy. This was, you know, we've done 20 games, but this was after 19 games. After 19 games, 20, 20, 21 versus after 19 games, 20, 21, uh, 20, 22. Okay, 20, 20, 21. Real quick. We were 8 and 11. At this point, mm -hmm. okay, uh, uh, 101.5 PPG points per game. We are allowing 103.8 opponents points per game. 43% opponents field goal. 31% opponent. Our defense was good, but we were eight and 11, pretty much, right? Yeah. So now in 2022, real quick before we go, this is after 19 games, not 20. Obviously, we played this. Uh, we played that game yesterday. So it, we were we're 10 and nine. Now we're 11 and nine. Right, um, 106 point per game. Uh, 106 uh, PPG were better offensively, 0. 0.7, so 107 points per game. 107 opponents uh, per game, so we're, we're giving up a little bit more points, which we, we thought we were going to do. But this is interesting. The field goals opposing, uh, the opposing field goals is 43.2. Same thing. It's last year around this time. Yeah. 43.2. And the three-pointers is 35.3. Okay? That's 4% where, where, and that's how we be losing. Yeah, the that's that's really the biggest difference. The, the guys are just, they're making, their teams are just making more on us. Even mm -hmm. the defense, when you look at I think Alan Hardy said something that was very interesting last um, before the game. He said, you know, the Knicks, they're not really giving up more threes than they were last season if you see the defense people are just making them they're just making people yeah. are just making more yeah. shots it kind of just is what it is you know absolutely absolutely and the last nine games opponents points per game has been 102.9 which i'm sure got better because they didn't even hit 100 last night they didn't even hit 92 last night yeah so i'm sure that number got better and uh into the next verse he said the sky is not falling Okay, I see it on Twitter. You guys, are, oh my God, I can't believe it. This, that, and the third. I want to complain. You're done. Even Rem, come on, Rem, come on, Rem. All right, this is to you, Rem. The sky's not falling. We're good. We might not get the 50 that I said we was gonna get, but we're still good. We're still top six. I have nothing else except what we're gonna do for the next game. What What else do you got? Um, I mean, listen, next game, let's just not be trash. But I think what that guy said might have been for me because I was definitely going around saying, man, we trash again. <laughs> we trash again. Next game, guys. Y'all know the vibes. We'll be playing those Brooklyn Nets. We'll be at the Barclays playing those Brooklyn Nets, which you guys know is a home game for us because we got the Knicks faithful in the building. It's going to be louder than the Nets fans. Y'all yes. already know what the deal is. Y'all know what the atmosphere. deal is. Y'all know what the deal is. It's going to be playoff atmosphere. It's going to be fun. It's at 7.30 Tuesday, 11.30, the last day in November. Will you be watching? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be here for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be here. I'll be here. We should watch it together. Watch it on the TV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll be here. I'll be here. Idea. All right, guys. I don't got nothing else. Don't forget to follow us on uh, fate, follow us on IG, uh, Twitter. We're on Twitter. And please, add us on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe, hit on your notifications, and like. So we can get next content like this and some more Knicks fans like yourself. All right? I don't got anything else. You got anything else? I'm good. We out of here. It's your boy Mizzle. And I'm Royale.